Let's now look finally at um, what the watch can do when it's linked up to the relevant software. Just one of the aspects is the training po program that's available within po um, Pro Trainer 5, but you've also got PolarPersonalTrainer.com. Now this is being transferred to flow.polar.com and that would be worth checking out if you are into fitness and then measurement and storage of data online. For me, um, Garmin Connect is definitely a good one and my default one would be Training Peaks which offers easy to use metrics and even the intensity and stress factors which could be approximated to um, what we're talking about in terms of recovery but the polar is much more in depth um, on the software here it's easy to install by the way didn't take that long um, load straight away of course and then you've got two options um, both of which you should install if you need to um, you see the PDF manual is standard for me, there's no need to load the manual, but I decided to do it anyway, you know, what the hell, and then um, wait just a couple of minutes. What you see here is an on-screen manual, which is going to be on your desktop, of course, uh, not online, um, and it's HTML. For me, like I said, PDF is the way to go, much easier to search for stuff. Um, looks fine, but um, the Adobe PDF is my, my default. Next, we go to the more serious stuff and there's uh, the setup for the Pro Trainer 5 software. It's all quite straightforward and my Windows 7 software is correctly giving me the disclaimers as to whether it's going to be suspicious or not. That's not going to be the case. So click on the old start button there and there it is um, ready to uh, launch. And I'm pleased about that. <laughs> yeah I know where it is and now we can um, actually load the thing. When you have the startup screen there's not much there. It's all kind of quite blank and you enter some preliminary um, information and then you're going to be faced with the training diary. From that point you're now going to be in a position to really get to grips with the software because you're going to be transferring data to and from the watch using infrared and this proprietary link uh, WIND which I believe stands for wireless um, independent uh, network device something like that that's available in the polar glossary somewhere online um, it's very important that the cable there be correctly aligned with the watch and after a few um, initial flubs uh, I got it right um, when the data are being transferred it all depends how many exercises you have uh, stored of course but you're talking about 40 seconds to 2 minutes um, but you simply have to get the um, the, uh, the top of the watch fundamentally okay, within a 15 degree uh, radius of the. It's very important that the angle there be quite straight. So that's going to be my default <laughs> uh, data upload position there. Again, this is nowhere near as slick as um, on the Garmin. Here we go. Actual workouts. Right, there you go. And it's all showing up nicely. The, um, it's uploading, but there it is, it's all there, and it's all being um, uploaded. I'm angling the uh, camera deliberately so you can see the, uh, those uh, the marks on the right which refer to the intensity of the respective like workouts. Arrow there, if you want to call it that, like a corner shows that it hasn't been um, looked at yet, so let's look at this right now. Um, but let's look at maybe a bit of one that's more interesting. What do we have? So, let's look at this. And this is just from the casual 30 minute run in the park. Uh, which are very, very comprehensive, obviously. As you can probably see, I hope, it gives you the data or the exercise, um, the workouts, the amount of time spent in each heart rate zone, ranking, energy, HR average, pace uh, per kilometer in this case, smiley face there, I don't know what that means. I'm going to double, there you go. Just as an example, um, you've got at the top there heart rate followed by um, cadence and pace per mile. Um, this can all be drilled down and like filtered. Um, with heart rate variability, um, once again, you've got to study this stuff before you can make the most of it. 
One interesting thing is that uh, perhaps a quirk is that the uh, the data for um, variability is stored separately, but as you can see, there are a huge amount of metrics which can be looked at. And um, so, effectively, for two workouts, you've got four exercises. All right. So um, again, it's very clear once you know what you're looking at. Um, in order to get the uh, data for HRV, you look up selection info. There's another example there. Maximum uh, intensity, as you can see, when I went up that hill. You remember me shrieking about it. <laughs> We're now looking finally at long last people at uh, the creation of a training program for the RS800. This is going to be very, very simple. I decided once I looked at the software that it's going to be about heart rate, time, no distance, although these can be recorded. Our phases are decided on time, distance, and heart rate, by the way, at a very, very simple workout. Um, here I am creating something that relates to heart rate zone, the uh, orange metric there, but the software automatically recalculates it when you alter, um, for example, in this case, some um, other heart rate zones. This is going to be a very, very simple 19 minute workout. 19 minutes is all it's going to be. And um, the, the uh, phases uh, can be um, broken down and then further subdivided and you can do various things with the software um, as you can see there it's all color coded easy to use in the relative sense I beg you please to understand that this is about workflow when you are a serious athlete this is about analysis and then constantly going back to your own details and your own metrics that's me simply recording the workout it's stored and it's ready to use now that I've created my very basic a training program there called uh, Run 3. I'm going to transfer it to the Polar product and then just see what happens because I've yet to see any kind of training program uh, section on the menu. So, as before, let's connect and then that goes straight in front of the infrared adapter. And then remember, it has to be angled um, very precisely. This is the irritating thing about it, there's no kind of beep to tell you what's happening. Um, once that's done, uh, you have a time limit here by the way, you have to do it before the watch kind of resets itself. So as before, I um, go to the uh, transfer data button there, and hopefully all will be well. And now OK, and let's see what happens, reading settings. Fantastic, it's starting. Test results, training program, one exercise. Fantastic. Training program, 10 days. You what, two weeks? What's going on there? Reading exercise data. So, um, the manual said that it's going to be um, only uploading the new stuff. So that's just as well. You're basically downloading the exercises, in other words, on the watch to um, um, the training diary, all right, which is what we have in front of us here. Now the thing is just beeped, and let's have a look and see what's happening here. So today, aha, new. Very new, haven't seen that before. And a run three, there we go. 19 minutes. This is going to be, are you going to tell me anything? Are we ready to go? Start. And there we go, right there. It's ready to go. Today. Program as you can see and now it's probably yes it's going to give me a list of them so there you go nothing there and this week and then what happens Wednesday and then presumably then yeah that's ready to go as well so this has worked out very nicely here yeah. this is um very very handy 
as before I'm going to assume yep we've got file and then uh, settings test and connect so it's worked <laughs> I'm glad it's worked wow what a watch what a watch uh, tricky uh, intricate uh, convoluted but ultimately very very satisfying um, definitely for the elite athlete someone who wants very particular things done and um, very uh, precise in what it's able to do and in the empowerment that it can give you especially I emphasize this having lived with the things for six weeks now the serious run the serious and committed run one final thing after all these various workouts all the different tests and everything else is to uh, simply upload them to polarpersonaltrainer.com and look at them online here we go um, doing the connection there it says infrared communication and it's ready processing data connected it's not just potentially connected reading exercise 177 two three I now see a full list of uh, what I've done here Wow please select the files you want to transfer Let's continue then sending new files again it's convoluted it's implying that it's special for it to be done but what you know want to have it done in one fell swoop Um, and just to 89 new files are sent to Polar Person Trainer C log file for details. Uh, here's the 50 minute run from a couple of weeks back obviously uh, right here you can see the uh, way that I entered the maximum uh, heart rate zone there. and then um, all this looks does look nice it's a very clean interface data benefit altitude altitude lap notes so I mean data uh, it's going to say what well, data of course minimum maximum heart rate very similar to what was on the watch uh, training load 182 where's the diary? I've forgotten what the diary is it's trying to increase your anaerobic tolerance to improve your maximum maximal oxygen uh, uptake via to maximum efficiency let's just go back shall we 182 now let's compare it if I can briefly very briefly with the 30 minute run right 182 remember there you go 30 minutes let's see, let's see what happened now let's see what the training program is because that was just a jog what do we have 100 that's not what I want you see now there's a definite relationship between the, the, the heart rate which just didn't really go up it would have gone up slightly because then I was very unfit but only jogging on very jogging very very jogging <laughs> uh, very um, basic jogging speed there 100 the training load that's what I need and that's what the polar has given me that's why it can give it absolute respect let's now summarize everything that we've seen here wow what a watch eh? look it's a day-to-day -day watch water resistant time of day it does the tests for you the own zone measurement um, updates your VO2 max measurement and is stellar absolutely world-class at measuring your heart rate the metrics are good the display is reasonably good at this but the display on the computer is even better the running index the pro trainer 5 software online is unparalleled unparalleled anywhere in the industry I'm saying this as a fact okay even from 2006 let's give this one final measurement here day-to-day -day use even as a basic watch this watch scores um, it just does its stuff really really well the elite feature sets the fitness measurement heart rate management it can't it can't be beaten in the empowerment factor with the software with the software it's the best in the industry even now in the year 2014 but I have yet to look at the Garmin 4 runner 620 which I own and the Polar V800 coming along in April 2014 overall this scores just a whisker above the Garmin 4 runner 610 and parallels the uh, Garmin 4 on a 9 XT. Thanks so much for watching, people.